and I'm always so impressed when anyone notices a problem in this world and simply figures out a way to fix it. When our next guest was only 15 years old, he saw just how many computers were being tossed out even though they were totally usable. What started as a mission to keep those electronics out of landfills is now helping the environment and directly helping thousands of people. So I would call that the work of a truly rad human. <laughs> For people, say hello to Dylan, everybody. So this started five years ago, right? Yes. How did it start? How did this all happen? Oh my God. Well, I was a very energetic young kid. Yeah. Um, I used to. I was very business minded as well. So in second and third grade, I used, I was dealing, you know, Pokemon cards yeah. and silly bands. Um, I wanted to be a famous YouTuber at 10, so I made over 500 YouTube videos. It unfortunately didn't take off. When uh, failure comes success. There you go. Here exactly. it comes. Exactly. Yeah. What doesn't kill you makes you there stronger. There you Nicely done. Nicely done. I should have said it. Yeah. <laughs> but me and my friends used to go around Brooklyn, yeah. going to different thrift shops, searching through shelves of old electronics, yeah. buying them, you know, bargaining with the store owner, taking them on our skateboards on the subway, bringing them home, refurbishing them and selling them on Facebook Marketplace and eBay. And that was like one of my first businesses. But through this venture, I saw that, hey, all these companies don't know how to get rid of their old electronics. Mm -hmm. They're going into the landfill, like 80 million metric tons of electronic waste goes into the landfill every single year in the United States. Man. Yeah, and I was like, why don't we just take all this electronic waste, refurbish it, and I, I talked to my stepmom who worked at a nonprofit, yeah. and she told me, hey, dozens of people can't access you know, school, government resources, uh, because they don't have a computer. So I was like, we can just take all these computers, refurbish them, mm -hmm. and donate them to people in need. And that's where Computers for People started. That is so cool. So how has it grown from there? So I started in my bedroom. I, uh, yeah. My mom would help me pick up the computers. Yeah. Um, I actually started by just going on Facebook Marketplace People were selling computers for $20. I was like, hey, why don't you just give them to me and they'll go to someone in need. You are a businessman. Okay. It, was just, it was just a no-brainer for yeah. people, you know? Yeah, um, that's smart. So I took them, refurbished them, and the first computers went to a, a local nonprofit in Hoboken, New Jersey. Uh, we set up a whole tech center where students learn media skills and video editing skills. Kind of, I guess, relates back to my, my old failed YouTube career. <laughs> but... Um, I love that though, you yeah, created opportunity for people that might not have had that. Exactly. And there was, it was there all the time. Nobody just knew how to like refurbish and like renew, reuse, recycle. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah, well okay, so a big part of this is digital equity, right? Yeah, so there's three parts of the digital divide. There's computer access, which I started with, mm -hmm. and then there's computer literacy, which is training someone how to use the computer because you know a computer is just an object if you don't know how to use it. Yeah. And then there's also internet access as well. Yeah. So if you have all three of those things, whether you have zero dollars or a million dollars, it creates this level playing field mm. where anyone can get success. I mean, you see some of the top people in the world came from nothing and they just had an internet connection where they were able to share their mission and their passion with the world. I'm kind of, I mean, this sounds horrible, but I'm kind of glad you failed at the YouTubing thing because this is such an important thing that you're doing. Oh. This is an incredible, like, footprints you're leaving behind. So like, what's next for you? Oh yeah. Because so, you're in college to, for business. Yeah. So I'm, what's next for I'm you? I'm a junior at Babson College running yeah. a full-time team of 10 people in Hoboken. Yeah. Um, and we're donating over 100 computers every single month. Um, oh. Yeah. That's incredible, man. Yeah. Um, What's my, your goal? My goal is to be one of the largest nonprofits in the world. That's uh, so cool. Yeah. But to get there, I, I have very short term goals. Of course, we've donated around 2,000 computers so far. Yeah. And our goal is to hit 10,000 computers probably within the next year or two. And then we're, we're right now expanding to Boston. So we're in New Jersey, New York City. Boston, yeah. uh, and then we're gonna prove the model where we can duplicate this across the country and then eventually worldwide. Absolutely, yeah. this is so cool. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> it's just such a cool idea and it's simple, but like so effective, yeah. We're so impressed with, with you and with your initiative and your drive and so we wanna help your efforts grow. So we're giving computers for people $5,000 just oh to help God. out. Really? And yes, but also, 
What's important is like, what's the website? Where can people go to yeah. like donate computers or do anything? Definitely, you can go to our website, computersforpeople.org. Okay. And whether you know whether you work at a company or you just you're just an individual, you know, okay. tell your IT director at your company, hey, what do you do with these old computers that we yeah. have? Every two to three years, companies refresh their computers mm -hmm. and they either end up in the landfill or they sell them or something. Yeah. Donate them, it'll help the world. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Thank you, Dylan. Well, to learn how to reduce your e-waste, head to the Kelly Clarkson Show Insta story, y'all.